courage is contagious and they can pass it on. But can one person make a difference? Sixteen seconds of footage of the trial of the WikiLeaks whistleblower Bradley Manning has been leaked onto Vimeo by an activist called Asher Wolf. Although audio of Bradley Manning's statement at the start of the trial was released by the Freedom of the Press Foundation, this is the first time that we've seen video from inside the court. Journalists have been banned from taking mobile devices into court and subjected to regular searches, and loads of people are now worried that there are going to be even more restrictions because of this leak. Even the Bradley Manning support network has distanced itself from the leak, saying that it had nothing to do with producing the video and that they don't believe that it adds anything to the debate. <music> Journalists are actually banned from working inside the courtroom itself, and so it looks like this video has been shot from the media centre where they can watch on a big screen. The video has been edited to include a recording of the voice of Daniel Ellsberg, who released the Pentagon Papers in 1971. On Twitter, Wolf said she was unable to provide the date of the recording and that she didn't edit the footage herself. Now here's Phil with some of your comments from the last week. On our video about Edward Snowden's suspected encrypted email service being forced to shut down, Apam Merlo said this, this is so sad, they are becoming, instead of national security, national passive terrorism. They're inflicting fear, paranoia, and terror on the people. Maybe they don't use violent means, but that's certainly what they are achieving thus far. This is scary and sad. And on our video about Booz, Alan Hamilton, and the NSA, the top voted comment came from Todd K, and it said this, the people who run all these agencies are not elected, but appointed to their positions. And whatever policies they decide to impose upon their citizens is in effect federal law. At this point, do we really have a democracy at all? And last but not least, on our video about the 30,000 litres of radioactive water being leaked into the sea from the Fukushima plant, AZN Moxter left this comment. The company is responsible for such a major incident and the best they can do is enforce pay cuts. This is a next to minimal attempt to respond to the situation. Now here's Laura to talk about the killing of Tony Blair. Yep, you heard us right. The controversial British politician George Galloway is launching a Kickstarter campaign to help fund a new feature length documentary called The Killing of Tony Blair. Apparently, Galloway is going to use the film to show how the former British Prime Minister killed the Labour Party, killed hundreds of thousands of civilians in the Iraq war, and in a bit of a tenuous pun we think, made a financial killing out of doing both. But it doesn't end there. According to the independent newspaper, Galloway, who was kicked out of the Labour Party in 2003 for his criticism of Blair and the Iraq war, is going to use the film as the first step in a campaign to have Blair tried for war crimes in an international court. The Kickstarter campaign is yet to go live, but once it does, everyone who gives five pounds is apparently going to have their name in the film's credits, and everyone who gives 2,000 pounds will get a working VIP lunch with Galloway himself. Now here's Phil again. Astronomers have just discovered a new planet and it's exciting for several reasons. Not only is it pink and about 57 light years from Earth, but according to current theories on planet formation, it's also too far away from the sun to be as large as it is. The new planet, actually named GJ504b, is roughly the size of Jupiter, but until now it had been thought that planets that large had to be formed from the debris left behind from the formation of stars. The problem is that GJ504b is located about 4.05 billion miles away from its star too far away for there to be enough star debris to actually form the planet. And all of this means that scientists might need to come up with an alternative theory for how planets are formed. So watch this space. Well, that's it for this week's Monday show, but you can check out some of the other videos we've made on the left here, and we'll see you again next time.